And I'd like to welcome you this evening to the Charles River Museum of Industry and Innovation. We're here for the second in the fall 2021 uh, Boiler House Jazz Series. Uh, my name is Ken Field. I'm the co-curator with John Bichard of this series of concerts. We're currently doing duo concerts, and we have a great one for you tonight. I want to mention that you can go to charlesrivermuseum.org and you can find out about the entire series. Uh, coming up on the 21st, we have a great concert, and I have that information right here. It's going to be uh, Anastasia Petrova on keyboards and George Lernus on percussion. And on November 5th, Friday, November 5th, we have a special concert, a jazz celebration of Diwali with Amit Kavthakar on tabla and Suhal Yusuf Khan on sarangi. But tonight, I want to first introduce this gentleman to my left, who is an icon, uh, maybe legendary, maybe a legendary icon. In my own mind. Yes, a legend in his own, no. Uh, <laughs> next to me is the wonderful and great Ron Della Chiesa. And we're so happy to have Ron here tonight with us. Ron is going to conduct an interview with the musicians about halfway through the program. And I just want to tell you, Ron, he's a member of the Massachusetts Broadcasters Hall of Fame, uh, a longtime broadcaster of both jazz and classical. Uh, his long-running program, Music America, focused on what's become known as the Great American Songbook. Ron's done so many other things, which I, you know, would take forever to tell you all the things that Ron has done. But we're thrilled to have Ron Della Chiesa with us tonight. But let me move on to introduce the musicians for tonight. On uh, piano, Witness Matlu will be joining us. Witness Matlu is a Johannesburg-born composer, performer, and band leader. His work is influenced by African traditional folk music, jazz, classical, and other world music. Witness studied music at Berklee College of Music, and he completed his bachelor's degree with a minor in philosophy, earned his master's degree, from the Berkeley Global Jazz Institute uh, in 2016, where he studied with uh, some amazing people, local-based people, Danilo Perez, Joe Lovano, John Petitucci, Dave Liebman, Terry Lynn Carrington. Uh, witness Matt Lou was awarded a Berkeley Global Jazz Institute Post-Masters Fellowship in 2017. He's performed all over the world, and we're really pleased to have Witness with us tonight. On vocals tonight, Lori Zuroff. Lori Zuroff is a Boston-based jazz vocalist. She re, uh, released her first CD, Ladybug, in November 2020, not that long ago, to rave reviews. She was recently featured on the cover of Metronome magazine. She's been singing rock, blues, R&B, and jazz for over 20 years. She studied with Rebecca Paris, Sheila Jordan, and Dominic Ede, some great, uh, great people to study with. And Zirov can also often be found performing with her trio of Molly Flannery on piano, Bill McCormick on bass, and Miki Mitsuki on drums. And so I want to bring them out, and they're going to perform for you tonight a, uh, about an hour-long set. Halfway through the set, Mr. Della Chiesa is going to come out and going to uh, do a, a short interview with them. If you have any questions for the musicians, you can put that into the chat online and we're gonna to try to respond to your questions as well as we can. So without further ado, let's bring on Lori Zuroff and witness Matt Lou. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us on this evening. It's my new friend, Witness. We're gonna start with, um, well, we're gonna do a lot of old tunes. So this is one of my favorites. When sunny gets blue 
Her eyes are gray and cloudy. Then the rain begins to fall. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Love is gone, so what can matter? No sweet lover man comes to call. When Sunny gets blue, she breathes a sigh of sadness, like the wind that stirs the trees. Wind that sets the leaves a swaying, like some violins keep playing weird and haunting melodies. People used to love to hear her laugh, see her smile. That is how she got her name. Since that sad affair, she's lost her smile, changed her style. Somehow, she's not the same. But memories will fade, and pretty dreams will rise up where her other dreams fell through. Hurry, new love, hurry near To kiss away each lonely tear Hold her near when Sunny gets blue People used to love to hear her laugh, see her smile. That is how she got her name. Since that sad affair, she's lost her smile, changed her style. Somehow, she's not the same. But memories will fade and Pretty dreams will rise up where her other dreams fell through. Hurry, new love, hurry near to kiss away each lonely tear and hold her near when sunny gets blue. Now for something completely different. We're gonna do a little blues tune. Um, I think the most famous version is done by Etta James. So.
Well, I do my Sunday dreaming, all my Sunday scheming, every minute, every hour, every day. I'm hoping to discover a certain kind of lover who will show me the way and my arms need someone to unfold. To keep me warm when Mondays and Tuesdays grow cold All my life to have and hold I want a Sunday kind of love Go ahead, Miss I know they're doing it at home, right? Okay, well. Are you ready for the next song? Um, you know, most of these jazz tunes are about love, love lost, love found, romance. You know, it's just all about um, the human condition, as it were. I'm sure Ron will talk more about that when we, when we chat later. Um, and this song is called, I Didn't Know What Time It Was. Are you ready? know what time it was then I met you oh what a lovely time it was how sublime it was too I didn't know what day it was you held my hand warm as the month of May it was and I'll say it was grand grand to be alive to be young to be mad to be yours alone to see your face, feel your touch, hear your voice, say I'm all your own. I didn't know what year it was. Life was no prize. I wanted love and there it was, shining out of your eyes. I'm wise, 
And I know what time it is now time it was then I met you oh what a lovely time it was how sublime it was too I didn't know what day it was you held my hand warm as the month of May it was and I'll say it was grand grand to be alive to be young to be mad to be yours alone to see your face, feel your touch, hear your voice, say I'm all your own. I didn't know what year it was. Life was no prize. I wanted love and there it was, shining out of your eyes. I'm wise and I know what time it is. I am wise and I know what time it is. I am wise and I know what time it is now. Next song is a song that was um, made popular by Billie Holiday in 1944, and I believe it was inducted to the Grammy Hall of Fame 1989 or something like that. I was trying to get some information, but um, it's definitely associated with her. And it's called Lover Man. But I'm feeling so sad I long to try Something I've never had Never had no kissing Ooh, what I've been missing Lover man Oh, where can you be? The night is cold and I'm so all alone I'd give my soul just to call you my own Got a moon above me but no one to love me Love a man, oh where can you be? I've heard it said that the thrill of romance can be like a heavenly dream. I go to bed with a prayer that you'll make love to me. Strange as it seems, someday we'll meet and you'll dry all my tears. And whisper sweet little things in my ears, a hugging and a kissing. Ooh, what we've been missing. Love a man, oh, where can you be?
heard it said that the thrill of romance can be like a heavenly dream. I go to bed with a prayer that you'll make love to me. Strange as it seems, someday we'll meet and you'll dry all my tears and whisper sweet little things in my ears hugging and a kissing ooh what we've been missing lover man where can you be lover man oh where can you This next song is called Stars Fell in Alabama, and apparently it was based on some kind of meteor shower back sometime in the 1800s in Alabama. Um, but uh, the version I like the most is the one that Louis Armstrong and Ella Fitzgerald sing together, which is really nice. So we're going to give it a go. Mm -hmm. drama we kissed in a field of white and stars fell on Alabama last night I can't forget the drama your eyes held a tender light and stars fell on Alabama last night. I never planned in my imagination a situation so heavenly, a fairy land where no one else can enter, and in the center just you and me, dear. My heart began to hammer, my arms wrapped around you tight, and stars fell on Alabama last night. situation so heavenly a fairy land where no one else can enter and in the center just you and me dear my heart began to hammer my arms wrapped around you tight and stars fell on Alabama Okay. 
So the next song is called Devil May Care, and um, some of my friends think it describes me. I'm, I'm not really sure why, but um, it's sort of an attitude that you just go and do what you, what you want to do, not hurting anyone, of course, but just enjoying your life. So... No cares for me, I'm happy as I can be I've learned to love and to live, devil may care No blues or woes, whatever comes later goes That's how I take and I give, devil may care When the day is through, I suffer no regrets I know that he who frets loses the night But only a fool thinks he can hold back the dawn He who is wise never tries to revise what's past and gone Live love today, let come tomorrow what may Don't even stop for a sigh, it doesn't help if you cry That's how I'll live and I'll die Devil may care That's why I'm wearing a red dress No cares for me, I'm happy as I can be I've learned to love and to live, devil may care No blues or woes, whatever comes later goes That's how I take and I give, devil may care When the day is through, I suffer no regrets I know that he who frets loses the night For only a fool thinks he can hold back the dawn He who is wise never tries to revise what's past and gone oh, Live love today, let come tomorrow what may Don't even stop for a sigh, it doesn't help if you cry That's how I live and I'll die Okay. What you're doing tonight? <clears throat> Great American Songbook tribute. Well, you pulled him out of the hat tonight. What yeah. wonderful arrangements and what you did bringing it all together. The variety of the material you, you just don't hear it anymore. Yeah. And the poetry and the lyrics. I was just thinking. Everything you did, from Lover Man, Sunday Kind of Love, to those songs, you could read those songs, and they, they're beautiful because they're lyrical, they're poetry yeah. embedded into the music. Yeah. Isn't that what it's the Great story, American Songbook yeah. is all? Sure. You're telling a story. Yeah, it's telling a story. Yeah. So you bring, and it's never the same way twice, right? How does that feel to work together like that and get that feeling so you really feel you're, you're like together in one? I would say for me as a piano player, you know, working with Laurie, especially with, uh, with her voice, you know, just yeah. very lyrical and just like the, the, right. the tone and the, the bit of whispering at the same time and like, yep. all this, she can be loud, she can be soft and all those dynamic ranges that she, you know, she, she, she goes back and forth and, and she can swing. 
too. So, <laughs> so yeah, we just heard that last tune. Yeah, she, she yeah. can but sing. But yeah. you have an intimate <laughs> sound in your voice too. It's kind of like you know, late at night you're watching a watching Turner Classic movies. You know, one of these B movies comes on, <laughs> and the singer in the background, a beautiful setting of a right. nightclub, right. and the spotlight finds her, pans among the tables, and she's singing under the spot, and she just steals the whole show. Sometimes I mean, a lot of those songs were written for movies, right? They were written for yeah, movies, or exactly. Shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so many of the great singers you, uh, that you uh, sang the songs that they made famous. You know, Billie Holiday was so closely associated with Lover, Lover Man, yeah. right. Good Morning Heartache, all yeah. those classics yeah. she did. Yeah. And then you did a thing called Sunday Kind of Love. Beautiful song. I think that was Fran Warren mm -hmm. that recorded that mm -hmm. with Claude Thornhill's band. But the arrangements, you know, also helped and get these songs on, in front of everybody and arrange different arrangers, brought something new into each and every one of them, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. So how did you, how did you learn to begin to sing this music? It must oh, have been very, um, very early age. It wasn't an early age, was actually. It? No, I didn't start singing until I was almost 40. Really? Yeah, yeah. and uh, joined a rock band and uh, was doing rock and blues and, and R&B and then um, a friend of mine suggested that I Try jazz, and uh, I went yeah. to jazz camp up in Woodstock, Vermont. Right. Uh, Fred ha Haas and Sabrina Brown yeah. run this summer, one-week intensive, fabulous camp where mm -hmm. you know it's just immersion of music. And I didn't even know what a chart was. I just wanted to go and really? be part of it, and I just learned so much. Yeah. Well, to make the transition to rock to this intimate kind of thing you're doing here tonight, yeah, yeah. that's quite unique because it's a whole different whole different volume in the rock world. So how did you two happen to find each other and get together and they do this They put us together. Music? Ken. Oh, okay. Ken, did, guys were Ken did it all. He did it all. Good <laughs> job, awesome. Ken. <laughs> <laughs> well, he told me I would enjoy this because I've been so long associated with the Great American Song and interviewing yeah. some great singers, you know, Nancy Wilson, yeah. Rosie Clooney, Peggy Lee, all of them, Love them all. who go back into what you're doing tonight to express themselves so well. And there's so much there. There's such a choice of material. You could n never run out of it. Never. You there's did. So I didn't know what time it was tonight. Yeah. And that's such a great song that, you know, not just female singers, but great male singers yeah. sing it. You know, yeah. Sinatra, Tony Bennett, Vic Damone. Sure. We've created a whole group of great American singers who put the American songbook on the map. But it's to your credit that you're both doing it and keeping it alive and well. That's wonderful. Keep it alive, yeah. Yeah. We should say that this is a fast concert, actually, together. It, it is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, first time. Yeah. Well, first actually, time. we practiced first, a couple of times. First time. Yeah. Best concert. <laughs> a couple of times time. together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you did Stars Fell in Alabama, special. which is a great song. It's Sinatra great. recorded yeah. songs of Swing and Lovers. Well, that's great. So everything comes out new every time you do it, and you've got this whole repertoire you can dig into in the future. Yeah. So it's really endless. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other songs you're going to be doing? Tonight? Uh, tonight? Yeah. Oh, uh, can I look at my list? Check your list <laughs> yeah, out. Sure. Check your list out. <laughs> so. And how about this atmosphere, how to perform it's in this cool, space? It's cool, right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really yeah. fun. And I like that the sound is nice. you got nice. an old fire engine behind you, too. <laughs> it's very unique in all this apparatus yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Lots of Going stuff. Going back to 1800. Oh, let's see. The Nearness of You. Great song. Hoagie uh, Carmichael. The Late Late Show. Oh, that's which, um, Dakota State. Yeah, I love that. her version. Uh, Born to be Blue, a Mel Torme song. Mel Torme. Which I love. Uh, and if we have time, Old Devil Moon and uh, don't take your love from me. Wonderful, so that's a lot to look forward to. It is, if, we'll, if we have time to do yeah. all that. Right. Well, we got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> there are no commercials That's in the right, show. no one's leaving. <laughs> no one's so, leaving. So when you, when you got together for the, for the first time and, and you, you discovered that you had a nice chemistry together, that it's perfect just hearing the piano and the voice. Yeah. Right. Because that's really the ultimate way to hear the Great American Songbook. Mm -hmm. It narrows down to just two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, you know. it, it just brings us to a very intimate uh, moment. Like yeah. uh, it reminds me of families. You know, <laughs> you know, oh, duos, nice. duos, uh, kind of like you know, yeah. a piano player at home and somebody sings at home. That right. kind of. Did you do that when you were growing up? There was there was a bunch yeah, of that. Yeah, I didn't. You know, <laughs> in the church, also somebody you know coming in early, and then somebody says, "Hey, do you know this old right. song?" And then we work it together, just like mm -hmm. the, just two people working on something. Yeah, you know, it's fine. You know what else? <laughs> we know what else? I was struck by the American Songbook. It's American leader, really. It's like Schubert songs and Hugo Wolf songs. They wrote these songs to be performed by a singer and a pianist, mm -hmm. and so many great recitalists. You know, yeah. Leontine Price, uh, Pavarotti. 
with Shelley, they always sometimes end up doing it just as a duo. Mm. Not only is it great with a full orchestra, but you bring so much more intimacy in it when you do it as a duo. Don't True. you agree? Yeah, I do agree. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. A little bass is nice, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> nice. So, yeah, you got a bass and you got a guitar when you're getting into that whole thing <laughs> in the full orchestra. Yeah. But that's wonderful. And uh, I think that, you know, Keeping the American Songbook alive is more something we all have to work on together yeah. and support where, where we can hear it Absolutely. and where it's performed, sure. particularly on, on the radio or in clubs or owners of clubs. To, you know, we've kind of like lost the feel of that because you walk into a restaurant, sometimes it's so loud you can't converse. True. But with this kind of music, you know, it, yeah. it provides a perfect ambiance. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. So we'll I hope to see more jazz clubs come back we need, in Boston. Yeah. Well, nice. it never went away, you know, but it comes back in waves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, I think that's great. And you recorded a new album, I understand. I did, yes. What's on the album? Um, do you, would you like to see it? Yeah, please. Bring it out oh, here. Wait we'll, a minute. we'll look at it. Do oh. you have a copy of the album here? Yeah. So I wanted to ask you about, yeah. about the South Africa. Yes. What's the scene like over there as far as American music, jazz, songbook, uh, big bands? Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite interesting because this is, has a long history. I mean, if you look at, at, at uh, people like Abdullah Ibrahim, yes. Kipi Murkezi, and uh, Johnny Diani, those like <laughs> from way back, which, you know, right. some, of, some of this is how I, I got into jazz to play, listen to Abdullah Ibrahim, you yep. something called Dollar Brand. Dollar Brand, and, uh, of course. You know, when I hit the Lanius Monk, I was like, I kind of oh. recognize that, so that sound. So it kind of like, he kind of like connected me to Thelonious. When I had Thelonious, Thelonious Monk, Monk yeah. it wasn't foreign to me <laughs> because of like, right. Dollar Brand used some dissonances a little bit. When I had Thelonious, I was like, wow, I, I like this. <laughs> this sounds, sounds great, you know? So, yes, yes. Yeah, and you have all these generations that are, that are coming out. You know, there's, uh, there's uh, many, many great uh, 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 times that the, the, the jazz over there is like blended yep. with... Uh, African traditional music, a spiritual music that's mm -hmm. coming up, you know, it's, it's very interesting to, 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 it is. to, to, it's to, to look at. It's quite a blend of yeah. everything, you know, it's Absolutely. all together. Yeah. All around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his, his lawyer is due CD, and it, it's called Ladybug. Yeah. Wow, I like that. And uh, some of the things in there, can I see here? Oh, Nina Savio, which you're going, we're going to be doing. Yeah. You do Fats Waller's Honeysuckle Rose, the Duke's in a Sentimental Mood. Uh, you don't know what love is. Uh, when Sunny Gets Blue, which you did tonight, which is a beautiful version of that, by the way. Thank you. And Nancy Wilson had a big hit with that, as you know. And you do Bo Joe Bean, too, speaking of the uh, assimilation of different cultures of South America, right. Antonio Carlos Joe Bean, right. Nascimento, beautiful thing called Meditation. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? I didn't know what, I, you don't know what love is. Oh, yeah, you don't hear that for enough. For all we know. And for all we know. Yeah. Beautiful song. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You may have that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, we could talk all night about we the could. American Songbook, That'd but you've got more to do. Absolutely. And it's, uh, I'm, I'm so grateful that you invited me to be here because I'm behind anything that promotes this country's great music. There's thank so much you. stuff that uh, is so loud and just <laughs> mediocre. These are all classics, every single one of them that you perform tonight. Yeah. And you bring so much of your own into it, the both of you together. Thank you. So continued success in what you're doing, and we we'll look forward to hearing that. Thank you. The next set. Okay. Okay. Thanks very much, Ron. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Do you want to just keep going, or do you want? Let's keep going. Really? Okay. Now? Okay. <laughs> We're discussing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> witness, I was trying to get Witness to do one of his original tunes, and he's been shy about it. You can talk. Yeah. Go ahead. I bet you can hear us. <laughs> so, yeah, we, uh, I'll just play a solo just a little bit, and then we'll have Laurie come back and, and join us. Okay. And I... Yeah, we'll do kind of like a medley. An original piece and I'll also switch to Alone Together. That's another okay. from the American song. I'm going to leave book. you here then. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. 
So uh, we, and I ended with Devil May Care, and, and now I'm going to sing Angel Eyes. I like the juxtaposition of that. I think Frank Sinatra made this song his own for a lot of his career. But, um, right. Try to think that love's not around Still it's uncomfortably near My old heart ain't gaining no ground Because my angel eyes ain't here Angel eyes, that old devil sent They grow unbearable Need I say that my love's misspent, spent with angel eyes tonight? So drink up all you people, order anything you see, have fun you happy people, the drinks and the laughs are on me. Pardon me, but I gotta run The path's uncommonly clear Gotta find out who's now number one Why my angel eyes ain't here It's not the pale moon that excites me, that thrills and delights me, oh no, it's just the nearness of you. It isn't your sweet conversation that brings this sensation. Oh no, it's just the nearness of you. When you're in my arms, 
And I feel you so close to me On my wildest dreams come true I need no soft lights to enchant me if you would only grant me the right to hold you ever so tight and to feel in the night the nearness of When you're in my arms and I feel you so close to me on my wildest dreams come true I need no soft lights to enchant if you'd only grant me the right to hold you ever so tight and to feel in the night the nearness of Step it up a little now. And uh, we're going to do a gong, song called The Late Late Show. And uh, as Ron uh, suggested, Dakota State and did a fantastic version that, that caught my ear. So um, I'd like to do it for you. Gee, it's cozy in the park tonight When you cuddle up and hold me tight Stars above, they seem to know We're putting on the Late Late Show Hear the crazy music in the trees See the flowers dancing in the breeze Old man moon begins to glow He's joining in the Late Late Show Birds that should be dreaming Start interpreting a song Or fireflies are gleaming We kiss kiss all night long then we amble back to my front door and we say good night and kiss some more don't you know i like you so it started at the late late show
Gee, it's cozy in the park tonight When you cuddle up and hold me tight Stars above, they seem to know We're putting on the Late Late Show Hear the crazy music in the trees See the flowers dancing in the breeze Old man moon begins to glow He's joining in the Late Late Show Birds that should be dreaming A star in chirping a song While fireflies are gleaming We kiss, kiss all night long Then we amble back to my front door Then we say goodnight and kiss some more Don't you know I like you so It started at the late, 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 late show I'm going to do my favorite Mel Torme tune called Born to be Blue. I, uh, I just read this morning that he actually didn't release this song um, much later in his career, even though he wrote it, I think, in 1940-something. Um, but he, he released a lot of records, like a like hundred or more, I think. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take this really slow. Some folks were meant to live in clover. But they are just a chosen few And clover being green Is something I've never seen For I was born to be blue When there's a yellow moon above They say there's moonbeams I should view But moonbeams being gold Are something I can't behold For I was born to be blue When I met you My world was bright and sunny when you left, the curtain fell I'd like to laugh But nothing strikes me funny Now my world's a faded pastel Well, I guess I'm luckier than some folks I've known the thrill of loving you And that alone is more Than I was created for For I was born to be blue to laugh but nothing strikes me funny now 
now my world's a faded pastel well I guess I'm luckier than some folks I've known the thrill of loving you that alone is more than I was created for for I was born to be blue. Sad song, but beautiful. Yeah, we're getting back to the devil again. Oh, devil moon. I don't know why I'm drawn to those songs. Same reason I wear red. I guess. Let me put this back over here. All right. We're going to swing this, right? Look at you and suddenly Something in your eyes I see Soon begins bewitching me It's that old devil moon That you stole from the sky It's that old devil moon in your eye You and your glance make this romance Too hot to handle Stars in the night shining so bright can't hold a candle to your razzle-dazzle You got me flying high and wide On a magic carpet ride Full of butterflies inside Wanna cry, wanna croon Wanna laugh like a loon It's that old devil moon in your eyes Suddenly, something in your eyes I see Soon begins bewitching me It's that old devil moon That you stole from the sky It's that old devil moon in your eyes You and your glance make this romance Too hot to handle Stars in the night shining so bright Can't hold a candle your razzle dazzle you got me flying high and wide on a magic carpet ride full of butterflies inside wanna cry wanna groom wanna laugh like a loon it's that old devil moon in your eyes just when i think i'm free as a dove old devil moon deep in my heart Blinds me with love. Do we have time for more? Are we done? One more? Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, singers like to do ballads just because. You get to express more of a feeling, I think. Um, and this is a particularly beautiful song, I think. I just need some water, hold on.
Take a star from out the sky And the sky feels blue Take the petal from a rose And the rose weeps too Take your heart away from mine And mine will surely break My life is yours to make So please keep the spark away Would you take the wings from birds So that they can't fly Would you take the ocean's roar And leave just a sigh you do this is what I beg of you don't take your love from me Would you take the wings from birds So that they can't fly Would you steal the ocean's roar And leave just a sigh Wow, that was incredible. Let's uh, have a, a, a virtual standing ovation for w witness Matt Lou and Lori Zuroff. Amazing. Um, it's, it just sounded beautiful. Thank you. Uh, do you want to come up here? Sure. And we, we have a couple of questions from the audience. Ron, do you want to come up yes, too? Sure. And we can have a little uh, short conversation. We're, we're almost at the end. That was a wonderful, wonderful performance tonight. Face, and what they both did. Face the camera. Did a, oh, they want, they want to see your face. Oh. <laughs> Come I don't back. know why, but anyway. Come back. That was remarkable, <laughs> hearing what you did, hearing what you did with the American Songbook. And there's so much there, you know, that you brought into it. We talked about the arrangers, you know, who are attracted to this music, Nelson Riddle, 
Billy May, Gordon Jenkins, they bring another, and it's exactly what you did, getting it down to just the two of you, you know. At Ella Fitzgerald recorded with Oscar Peterson, mm -hmm. and they did basically the same thing. You bring so much to it tonight, we're very, very special, and the repertoire, you know, you explored. Not many people do that, or can do it. Congratulations, I'm thank privileged you. to be here with you. Oh, thank and you so much, Ken. Yeah, beautiful. I, there are a couple of questions that people have posted. Okay. And uh, I want to share it. The first thing I want to say, there's a bunch of uh, accolades of very nice things that people said. Wonderful, beautiful, amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was just what I said. No, that, <laughs> that was what everybody out friends. there said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, one person actually said uh, they liked your version of Angel Eyes better than Frank's. Now, I just want to say that person better be a little careful and watch your back, because Frank has a long reach, okay? That's just what I've heard, you know, from, from way back. Um, uh, there was a question about how you choose your material, Laurie. Uh, you know, there, there's such a, a wide uh, yeah. spectrum of music from the Great American Songbook. Yeah. Really. How did you pick these particular songs? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I like to pick music that speaks to me, you know, that... Mm -hmm. It tells a story that I can relate to. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was one song I was going to do called Prisoner of Love, and I thought, no, probably not a good idea. Mm. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense for me to sing it over, you know, I don't know. I, I liked your yeah. focus on devils and angels tonight. <laughs> that was That, that was just good. happened spontaneously. The perpetual, know. you know, uh, yeah. battle. I have, yeah. a, I have a pretty large song list, but I'm always looking for more songs to do because there's so many of them. And yeah. yeah, it's endless. It's, you know, it's, you it's can just incredible. explore it. You never story. run out of material, and it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. You know, Born to be Blue. I mean, who does that? And Not Mel did people. it. Uh, you know, and some of the songs work so well for a, a woman or a man. For example, you do The Man That Got Away, and then there's The Gal That Got Away for the man to sing. Yeah. It, so, you know. Right. You got to change yep. the, the words sometimes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. There was also a question for you, Witness, and I think you might have discussed this a little bit with Ron, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, about Abdullah Ibrahim and his impact on you, uh, your development as a jazz musician. Do you want to talk again, or if, I think you mentioned that before, but yeah, talk a little yeah. bit more about that? Yeah, I would say, you know, he was one of my, uh, the early people that I've, I've listened to, uh, especially with the piano, just like listen to the way he, he plays, uh, just resonated with me. And I think uh, the period that, you know, he got to be really, really known in South Africa, is uh, really towards uh, the, uh, I think it's, uh, the first democratic election in South Africa really is the song called Manning Back. So it was like, like it, was a, it was a hit, <laughs> it was a hit, it was a hit song. So, you know, I went on like, you know, checking his music, just reading about his life. And, and I think one of the greatest thing for, for, for me was that connection, you know, the way he plays on the piano that, you know, when I had the Lenny's Monk, I, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't too hard for me to, to jump into that music. It was, uh, you know, it was a great uh, connection for me. And, and yeah, even today, you know, I mean, I, I like some of the things he did with, also with talking about duos, he did, he did a, a duo with, with Max Raj, mm -hmm. just piano and drums. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's very interesting. It's, it's rare to, you yeah. know, to have that yeah. kind of a duo. I think Terry Lane and Danilo Perez have done yeah. The, 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 those yeah. kind of duos. Mm -hmm. but yeah. And did you, I, I don't really know the timing, but did you have a chance to hear Abdul Ibrahim live ever? Yeah, I've, I've had him live. I've had him uh, even here in Boston when he came. Mm -hmm. Not so long ago. Uh -huh. It may have been 2018 or so, or okay. 17. Okay. Yeah, he had a band that he was playing with. I think it was called Ekaya, which okay. means it's a Zulu word, which means home. Mm -hmm. So, but the way he, he played the concert, he just came in and just played solo piano for like, about about half an hour or tw 20 minutes or so at the Bagley performing, mm -hmm. performing Center. And it was like so quiet. Everybody was like so quiet and mm -hmm. people listened. And so that was like, you know, I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he had a band with him though, but yeah. he played for like, you know, about 20 minutes. Just yeah. like, it was uh, very, very quiet. Yeah. And when the band came in, it's like started like, you know, pumping and it was like, oh wow, <laughs> that's a way to go. Wonderful. <laughs> you know, I was thinking what you did tonight uh, here in, by the way, I love Boiler Room Jazz. Boiler House, yeah. Bo uh, boiler House Jazz. Yeah. This is an old bo boiler room. This is a boiler room, yeah. Boiler Room turned yeah. into an intimate jazz club. Do you realize yeah. what you did tonight? 
That's amazing. In front of this old vintage fire engine from Waltham. Yeah. But uh, wait till we fire it up. We're going to take you home in that. Take me home in that. <laughs> but I want to say that uh, what, what you did together tonight is remarkable because you narrowed it down to the intimacy between two. And, I, you know, so many artists have yet to do that. It was a great album that Doris Day made with Andre Previn, again, mm. the American Songbook, mm. you know. Mm. So there's so many ways you can do it, and it, it's all there. It's all pure poetry, lyricism, the blues, intimacy, upbeat, downbeat, melancholy. Everything is expressed in the great American Songbook by these great writers, yeah. you know. And it'll continue to be around long after we're gone. I hope so, you know, yeah. It's our great export, too, like jazz. Yeah. And so I want to uh, thank the great, great Ron Delacchiesa. If somebody out They're there great. in Boston doesn't, <laughs> doesn't uh, hear his voice and recognize it, I don't know where you've been. But uh, thank you so much for being great here, Ron be Delacchiesa. Here. It's a pleasure, uh, especially and, with you both tonight. And, you. and I'd like to thank Laurie Zuroff and Witness Matt Lou for putting on such a great concert. I want to remind those of you out there that if you would like to support this series and support the museum, you can do that uh, on YouTube. There are links, uh, PayPal links, uh, or just go to the charlesrivermuseum.org site and you can uh, support the series and the museum. I hope you do. It's worthy of your support. Also want to thank Bob Perry, the executive director of the museum, for his vision and for his willingness to let this happen and to make it happen. So thanks so much to everyone. I hope you all have a great night. Come back in a couple of weeks. We have another great concert for you. Thank you.